Hi programmers. I'm going to show you how to use our Bloodhound indicator tester. So this indicator was created to help you test and debug your indicator's output as it outputs inside of Bloodhound. Right? So as your indicator runs inside of a strategy or as it runs inside of another indicator, um, it's going to have different behaviors um, just because of the way of NinjaTrader's framework operates. So your indicator is going to operate differently on a chart than it would running inside of another indicator or inside of a strategy. To get started, take the two DLL files that were sent to you and copy them in to the NinjaTrader 7 bin custom folder. All right, let's get NinjaTrader fired up here. So what this indicator will do is it will kind of mimic how your indicator runs inside a Bloodhound. And it will show you your indicator's output values on the chart so you can visually see how your indicator is uh, functioning when it runs inside a Bloodhound. So first step is I'll open up the indicator window and we'll add two indicators onto the chart. So the indicator that I'm going to use to demonstrate um, with is the SI swings indicator. And then the second indicator I'm going to put on here is the SI Bloodhound compatibility tester. So this is our indicator tester. So I'll add both of those onto the chart. You'll notice that all the plot names are blank right now and all the colors are set to transparent. So and the next step is we'll set up the plot names. We'll click OK. All right, so this is the SI swing indicator on the chart. You can see it, it draws lines and it puts text on here. It doesn't have any plots. It only has a data series to reveal you know, certain pieces of information, such as the swing direction, um, you know, the swing length and ticks, stuff like that. Okay, on the top of the chart, you'll see this button, Bloodhound Indicator Tester. We'll open that up, and it opens up the Select Indicator window, which is similar to the one inside of Bloodhound. So what we'll do is we'll go select the indicator that we want to test, in this case, the SI Swings indicator, add it to the list, and this first round of adding the indicator into the list is just to get the plot names and the data series names into the indicator itself. So you don't need to change any of those parameters yet. You can just leave those all alone. Um, we just want to add the indicator to the list um, and then close it out. Uh, now we'll go back into the NinjaTrader indicator list. And as we select on the Bloodhound compatibility tester, now we see the plot names and the data series names that the SI swings indicator um, is providing. So now we can go in here and we can decide, you know, what, what data series or what plots do we want to test, do we want to debug. So let's take a look at the overall trend. So we'll change the color so we can see it. See, I'll pick a blue here and I'll make this a little thicker and I'm going to change the plot style to bar. And the other one, let's take a look at the swing direction as well. So I'll change that to gray. I'll leave it on line and two. So that's good for now. All right. You'll notice that there's still, there's no output down here in the sub panel yet. What we have to do is open the select indicator window back up, you'll notice it's empty. So this is just uh, an initial version. Um, so later on we'll, we'll, we'll fix this. But for now, what we have to do is go and add the indicator, the test indicator back into the list. So we'll put the SI swings back in here. 
and now you we can see the output of it right and so we can see here this the overall trend is what we changed to blue the swing direction is what we changed to the light gray those are the two plots um, or the two outputs that we can see on the chart now uh, so now this is the point where you would go in here and make sure that all of your um, settings uh, parameters are set up to the way that you actually want to test your indicator. So now we can click OK and now we can actually see and compare the output to the indicator on the chart. If you want to see some other information, what you can do is just go back into the indicator list and let's say that we also want to see what the swing price is as well. I can go in here. I'll um, see, change this to orange. And I'll change the plot style to a dot. Click OK. Now, the, that had, right, so the chart had to refresh. And you see that we lost the plots. So, what we have to do is anytime the chart refreshes, we need to go open the select indicator window again and load the indicator back in in there we go so we'll just select the SI swings again right so we loaded it in our list we'd have to go through and ch uh, set all our parameters again um, if needed and um, so now we can see that the swing price is set to orange and we can see the orange dots uh, on the chart now as well and we can also see the the other data series values as well and so that's how we can test things so we can close that and if we need to I can move this up onto the price panel and oh I put it on the wrong side there let's fix that set that to right And since the chart refreshed, we'll have to load the indicator back in. All right, load the swings. You have to go back and change all your parameters if necessary. Click OK. And uh, there we go. Now it's on the price panel. And of course, now I would have to. And so now I can see the price swings from the swings indicator plotted on the chart and I can visually see to make sure that um, this indicator is working correctly um, inside of another indicator. So, all right, uh, that's it. Thank you.